slash fairy liquid from the magical land of Jingjiang Jujong, hoping to entertain you to entertain kids. And we're going to be making the balloon poodle today. Now, we all like to make dogs, but I make this balloon poodle partly because it's just a bit different to a normal balloon dog. However, the basic balloon dog I do recommend. So check out my video. I'll put the link in the description so that you can see that one because it does teach you techniques that you need to master. And it is the most simple animal that you can make. But even before that, that you do the sword to get the real basics under your belt. No pun intended. I'm going to show you now how I make a balloon poodle. I know it doesn't have to be pink, but here we go. So I've got a 260. I've got my pump. We're going to blow it up, but not all the way to the end by any means. Um, in fact, I've, I've just done two pumps. OK, I'll show you in a minute. So we're going to tie that off. And don't forget, you can check out my how to tie a knot videos. And I shall turn around. So we're going to do a nose first. So I am going to do it. I mean, I just do it by eye. The more practice you get, the better. But uh, that's probably about four fingers. And then I'm going to do, just going to squeeze it along a bit. I'm going to bend it over. And again, it's probably about my four fingers height. And I'm going to squeeze that into there because it's just a lot quicker to do it that way than doing a bubble and then linking it in. And I'm left with this loop here, which probably isn't big enough. <laughs> it doesn't need to be big. What we're going to do is going to squash this through here. Ready? Squash, squashy, squashy, squashy. Like that. Not all the way through though, but most of the way through. So it comes out looking like that. And then if you've got a bit like that, you don't need to do a neck, uh, but you can do a neck as well. And I'm not, go not going to, I'm just going to go straight to the legs. So uh, probably all my whole hand span here from the front leg. Then I'm going to do um, a bubble. This is the foot. Okay, I'm going to turn, almost turning away from me. Now I'm going to do another bubble the same size because it's going to be the other foot. Obviously, the next leg has got to be the same size as this one. So I'm just going to bring it down to measure it. And I will just do a bubble here because we're running out of space. So I'm going to twist those two together. So I'm going to pull these two up and I'm going to pull those two down like that to create less friction. And I'm going to now pop the whole, oh, no pun intended, not going to pop the balloon. I'm going, to, I'm going to push the whole lot through, pull it through like that. Now, this stops the balloon unravelling. And that's really important when you're doing ballooning, uh, that you don't want it unravelling uh, in the children's hands. Because they'll just be coming back to you the whole time asking you to fix it. And once it's done, it's really hard to fix it. So now I'm doing the body and it's a little bit smaller, but it's probably about four fingers. And how big it is, it's just how much did you blow up? So uh, this is going to be quite a small one because I haven't put much air in. I'm going to do another foot and the back legs are going to be a bit shorter than the front legs. Try to make my two feet the same size as each other, just so it's neater. And the back legs the same size as well. So I'm just twisting away from me as usual. So I'm going to just lock the two in together. So I'm pulling it up and around like that. And now I'm going to pass the tail through the legs to secure it in place. Get through there. There we are. <laughs> I pushed his head too far. Let's push it back again. Get back in. Right. Now, I might make a little uh, two bits of tails. Now, you can actually, some people can, you know, the, the end of the bloom. And there's uh, a couple of reasons why I don't like to do that. One is I've not been able to master it. But secondly, um, children copy you and they put balloons in their mouths. And that's never a good idea. And then also, if I'm handing it to a child, it's got my saliva all over it. And so that's not a good idea either. So I'm just pushing the air through the end like that. And then you get a funny little tail there and a funny little poodle. And you can just draw a little face. I'm just draw some eyes on him. 
a little smile maybe is our little bush poodle i do hope you found that helpful check out below for all the related videos to do with dogs and beginners balloons and techniques and things that we, we all need to know but also balloons that kids like as well they might ask for a dog but that doesn't necessarily mean it's what they'd really like so i tend to have some alternatives which i think actually they'd prefer see you in the next video guys